Welcome to Senate Education 132, Monday, May 8th. Closing days, we have uh, two pieces of business. The first, let me try to articulate as best I can. The budget conferees are meeting. And one of the things that's come up has been uh, the issue of adult basic education. And what uh, the agents, what the Senate conferees would like to do is to put a study in there to help us remove some of the barriers. Uh, well, let me explain it this way. We may need to have them come in. Funding for adult-based education is, isn't where it should be at. And one of the things we're trying to figure out is how do we remove some of the barriers for uh, ESL students who are not passing the exam, uh, therefore not getting their GEDs, in, and can't enter the high school completion program. And they would like to put together uh, a study committee to review and report on the decreased HSCP enrollment and subsequent, that's, that's the high school completion program, and subsequent adult education funding issues. So this would be two House members, uh, no, a current House member, a senator, folks, somebody from the agency, somebody from the Office of Racial uh, Equity, to look at that this issue this summer. And let me just make sure I'm getting this. I'm happy to pass it around. The committee would re submit a written report to Joint Fiscal, the General Assembly, and the Agency of Administration before January 15th, with its findings and any recommendation for legislative action based on the analysis that they conduct. And just to go through this again, I'm just gonna read it. The high school completion program is experiencing decreased enrollment due to COVID policy changes within the program and lower literacy skills that limit acceptance into the program. Adult basic education programs overall are experiencing funding due to decreased enrollment. Uh, there, this again would create an, a, the adult education literacy high school completion program student access study committee to review and report on the decreased enrollment and subsequent adult basic education funding issues. Does anybody object to that or have any concerns? If anybody wants to see it. Can you re repeat to us where this is coming from? So this is, this is coming to us from uh, Senator Westman, who uh, they must have identified this during their back and forth. And you may recall, we did have adult education listed as one of our priorities in terms of funding. I suspect they didn't meet that amount, and so they're trying to figure out some of these other issues and therefore would like this study committee to come back and report on it. As long as everybody here, and today I have three, so I get three or we tell Senator Westman to come down and talk to us or I can get Senator Kitchell down right. unless people are concerned about it. Looks good to me. Okay. Do you need a motion? No, I think, I think just this is fine. They said in, uh, I will, if I don't find them by 3 o'clock, they will be okay with it. Maybe, actually, could you just maybe email Senator Westman? You're good with all the languages? All the languages. So that's adult ed, not adult ed. That's not CTE. Okay. Yeah. So then the second piece of business is the letter that is in your file. Uh, <clears throat> and this is the letter we talked about last week. This is the school meals policy divisions. Uh, food and nutrition letter and I'll give people an opportunity to read through it. Remember what this hopefully would allow us to do uh, is to get additional federal funds to offset the cost of universal school meals.
actually. Okay, they'd like a roll call on okay. this, so if you don't mind calling the roll. Oh, oh, oh. And we did send it to Senator Hashim, and he gave us the, his okay. okay. But if you okay. wouldn't mind, that would be great. So, start off with Senator Gula. Yes. Senator Hashim is the yes. Yeah. Senator Williams is the yes. Senator Campbell. Yes. Sure. So we will uh, send this out, and you can tell Michael Brady that we did take he was going to recommend we take the final formal yes. vote. Take that. So I was just in finance, thank you, yes, uh, on 461. And? So, so here's the good news. Drum roll. Uh, the good news and bad news. Uh -oh. They uh, are going to yank the driver's ed section. Okay. So normally, because they don't <laughs> no, I know because they don't like the pressure on the ed fund. Okay. So what they will do is they will have an amendment. Under normal circumstances, because the pro tem is seems firm. Friday is it? Okay. I checked again. Yeah. This would not make it this year. However, guess what? What? We can vote. We will vote on if we need to. We will vote on it uh, on the veto right day. Oh, okay. The House will. So it'll make it this year. And S one thirty eight school safety. Again, we're going to have a possible amendment, which is aimed hopefully at getting some more people on uh, severe and per pervasive. You'll see it. Uh, it was just proposed to me. I think uh, maybe Senator Machine will bring it forward. It's going to be a study so that we can get, so when we return, we might be able to get there. And um, again, that would slow it down, so it wouldn't make it, but we will. it will make it this year because we have the vote veto over it. It actually will allow us to complete all of that work because we in the House will be able to vote on those things. And there'll be other things to vote on also on the veto over right day. So what will happen to all the other pieces of the miscellaneous bill? So what we'll do is what, I thought tomorrow, what I was hoping would happen is you would go in there and they would be fine. And they would just concur when we send it to them tomorrow. The problem is if we don't get a rule suspension uh -huh. or something like that. So we'll vote on the whole thing tomorrow. Oh, great. Except minus the uh, driver's set. Driver's okay. Um, and then this will stay in play likely until uh, the veto override day. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so just basically, this is off. Yeah, and she will get up and explain that. Jane? No, a. Cummings. A. Or somebody. I bet it'll be uh, Chittenden. Okay, um, great. Uh, well, that's a bummer for all those driver's ed folks. 
They are, you know, and I say, just so you know, I say it's dead. They hadn't heard from Ted Fisher yet. Um, so he could convince them otherwise this afternoon. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, great. So tomorrow I'm still going to present the other yep. pieces. Got gotcha. you. All right. I think that's that sounds good. I, I really want, like, this National Guard benefit yep. thing to go yep. through. Yep. So then, and if the House, if we get it to the House in time and they concur without the driver's ed stuff, yeah. we're done. If they don't have time, if they get it on Friday or sat, you know, after we, they can concur when we get back. Okay. And the same thing they can concur on school safety. Okay, great. When we get back. Um, so that allows us to get, they just pointed out, a bunch more things done. Okay, great. And does the house know what's happening? They don't. Okay. They don't. You're going in tomorrow at 9.30, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Do I you want to mention them. it to them? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, I, I figured 9.15 now because Senator Bruins was like 10 o'clock sharp. Uh, so I can't imagine it would take very long. If you don't feel great, text me in the morning. I can go in. Okay. Whatever works. Thanks. And just take them Thanks. through it. All right, great. So okay. that is actually, we'll get, and I don't know if you're coming back in June for a few days. Um, if you need me, yeah, well, actually, never know. my email might be turned off. But yeah, we'll click that back on. <laughs> we can text you. So that would allow, that be to override day actually gets us a little more time gets us everything all yeah. these extra things done so it's right. good okay good cool. all right and tomorrow because we have two people absent we need senator hashim here at least i know senator weeks won't be here he was the presenter and lead on school safety we'll have Beth take us through school safety tomorrow how's that feel that sounds good because we're still not 100 percent sure what we're yeah. So you should, if you, you do have the side by side on school safety. Yeah. And there will also likely be a, an amendment to 138 that hopefully it'll be a study to, so that we can come back and do severe and pervasive when we get back. And again, timing wise, I think the House, they would need to concur with us on this uh, by the time of the veto, like on the day of the veto override. But remember, they sent us this. So we know that they're good with this. Makes sense? But in this, this is the side by side if it's helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, get it to, I'll take it and look at it tonight. I'll look at both of these. All right, great. So that's good. It's good. Good work. Okay, everybody. That's it? That's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Tomorrow we'll pick up uh, school safety.